Alright guys, so recently I've noticed that my Firefox is not what it was before. So what I mean by that, as you guys can see I have a really great computer with a great performance and it's 32 byte. So what's with the 32 byte? So it's different for me because usually what the 32 byte does in the 64 bytes it's basically doing the multiple windows. So I thought like this is the same thing but actually this is a new application they got they just up, uh, they just noticed me I guess it's about three months but it started popping out recently uh, as you can see I have like multiple Firefox X apps going on and they are each of them taking a uh, lots of memories and lots of CPUs which I can't afford I know it's trying to like split it into uh, like few other things you know like this thing does this thing this thing does the second thing this thing does the third thing but but uh, the truth is like multiple tabs i open and uh, if i watch one video a youtube video and i just pause it and i just move into the like watching a movie or tv show at the same time while this thing is stopped it's not even uh, doing anything it just stopped i'm not watching it I didn't close it but I'm watching a movie now in the second tab so it's lagging the hell out of me lagging really bad because there's a three thing and it's operating the YouTube and operating the uh, video itself so it's really laggy like I can't afford it CPU CPU can't afford it this is really really bad my CPU is dying every time <laughs> alright I'm sorry guys I didn't I, I, I did not have to do this because there are people who can afford it actually and have like good computer with a good performance that's gonna make it the Firefox even faster than it was especially the games especially the flash games because right now with these flash games will become way faster because it's not taking the whole page it's taking the instead of one add-on uh, which is responsible for the whole uh, the CPU so uh, and uh, hold the memory so it's gonna split the thing and it's not gonna crush the firefox easier so this is a good thing and this is a bad thing bad thing for me because i like to watch the movies and stuff and my computer is shit and i just can't afford it so we're gonna we're gonna change so how do we change well how do you change stuff in the firefox which is not virus and which is actually its application so this is official application and this is not a virus but it's default default uh, activated so we're gonna deactivate this so we're gonna go with about config and uh, click ok we're gonna take a risk so what what we're searching here those are a bunch of things don't don't start to make it default everything guys don't don't uh, don't start to reset everything because th this actually holds the information for this one like backgrounds and the uh, add-ons you are installed so you, you don't have to do it don't don't fuck this up guys please oh, if you don't know what, you, what you're doing uh, I mean if you don't know what you're doing just follow me I'm gonna teach you I'm, I'm a great uh, I just started this <laughs> okay so let's go uh, we're gonna say like tabs and there you go we have now tabs auto start you can you can type either of them except the browser because the <laughs> everything starts with the browser anyways you can say remote or auto start or auto start or auto or anything you just find this one okay browser dot tabs dot remote dot auto start dot two so this is what you need to do this is a bowling so you can just you can just double click and there you go it's false so when it's false you just need to refresh the refresh them Firefox that's it all right now we have one Firefox and everything's good it's gonna work on one I pause it and it's gonna completely stop uh, looking at the window and I'm gonna see my beautiful film with more than two FPS yay okay so but there's a one thing like if you if you are actually programming this thing and you go to up oh, sorry misclicked 
so if you're going for this oof. okay um all right there you go if you click reset it's gonna actually disappear so it's gonna be a string and uh, when you when you open it again it's not it, it's it's gonna be on the default so reset is a default so okay auto start there you go auto start nice okay so as you can see it's on the bowling and it's on the true so if you reset this and you say it's false up uh, wrong false okay let's say it false then close it then open it again and it's gonna say false and it's not gonna open again but What the hell is this? Okay, misclick. I'm sorry guys, I misclick too much. What the hell? I think I'm nervous. Alright, now we can't do the bowling. So we're just gonna go and click the reset. Open the thing. It's gonna open all of them. But... But... Uh, and it's back to the bowling, but we're gonna toggle this now, okay? So if you're if you're making your own uh, application or whatever you're making, and you click, re uh, you you just have string like that, which is actually now it's gonna be uh, uh, disabled because this is a string, and uh, if it's not true, well, even if it's a true, uh, I mean, like you you must. Have you must to click by yourself now because let me show you let me show you what I mean so as you can see even though it's a true it's still not true look at this guys because it's a string no matter how much you try it's not gonna be it's not gonna be true because Oh, not auto config. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, about config. There you go. Then auto start. So it's a string, and no matter how much you try to be it be a true, it's not gonna be true. But if you click a res reset, it's gonna reset. But what about like you're making your own and you want to like make it your own? So what you need to do is you need to go to the actual. Uh, file where the where the about config is uh, located. So you go to users, your name, uh, update, update. So if you can't find the update, you, you just go with the options, view, and show the hidden folders. Also, I have the um, hide properties operating system file. So this is basically enable. Uh, so what this does is actually uh showing me that uh what what the ending is so do you guys remember when there was like a config file with the txt ending so now it's not because now it's like config.txt.cfg you know and you can you can uh, choose the whatever the file you want to open with with the with the ending which which you have so yeah this is the thing so now we're going to update uh, roaming so you must go roaming then you go to Mozilla uh, then part when I thought I saw like a, another Mozilla and I was like do I have a virus uh, no I don't okay Firefox profiles and choose whatever profile you have so then you scroll down and there you go we have a perfs prefs sorry and click edit right here we have you're gonna find your name like or you're gonna type here because you need to do it manually so let's see okay 
you can add the purse right here and uh, from here you're gonna take other uh, things um, you you're gonna you you're doing whatever you're doing so it's like it's like a script you know and you see here it's a quotes so quotes is basically a string as we know from the JavaScript so we're gonna remove those quotes now gonna click the save or from here or control and save uh, control and s basically uh, oh dang I said something I didn't mean to okay so anyways let's go to Mozilla and open all right all right now let's go So, okay, auto start. Oh, there you go. Auto start. It's a true and it's moving. Now we can click a false, and there you go. It's gone. Uh, so, right now, what we're gonna do? So we're gonna we're gonna do something. We're gonna play along. Oops. Uh, roaming uh, the Mausoleum the Firefox profiles and we're gonna go to the purse again so right here near this one I'm gonna try to actually recreate my something or just create my something okay let's just let's just do this yeah like it like it's my perf yeah, sure. All right. No, no need double way. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's try this, and don't forget that one because it's really important in the JavaScript. So we will have to do it. Oof! What is what is this? Opening the new window. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to the Mozilla Firefox and let's check out if it worked or if we just crash. Nah, just kidding. We don't crash. And as we can see, we have our own thing created. YouTube.com, Darkingate, true, sure thing, it's a true. Well, anyways, let's let me do something that I I didn't do because I didn't want it to do. Let's make a slash. Can we make a slash because it's a string? Because if it's a string, like. You can you can actually make anything you want, so it's a string. So the HTML actually doesn't really work here, like a code, you know, like oh, so I I don't actually accidentally end the JavaScript. I hope so. There you go. We have a dark gate. We have YouTube that darking it, so it's uh, double W because uh, that's because it's double W. It's on the end, so it's on the bottom. So it's good. So we can make our own things now. Yay! Okay, so we can make uh, this one, or if if we just make a reset, there you go. It's just a string now. Well, actually, I'm just gonna delete this. To be honest. But anyway, it's it's really fun thing to do. You can just you can just do your own things, maybe like screenshot or saving or auto save or whatever the key you click and you do something. Yeah, just just play along. I mean, it's it's not like you're gonna sell it. So it's if it's yours, well, you make your own thing. Good luck guys, I hope you have a nice time. I guess I'm recording too much now, it's a little... <laughs>
sorry for keeping you this long i hope you enjoy i hope it fixed for you i hope you don't have lag anymore or if you did not had thanks so much for watching leave a like subscribe share this video for some reason i don't know and uh, as always i will see you in another window